Hi guys, I'm Mav here and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Mav Mav and I do custom stickers and DIYs. So if that's of your interest, do not forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you will be the first to know the moment I upload a new video. And speaking of which, I'm so sorry for not uploading a video for two weeks because apparently moving out, getting settled in this painting took a whole lot of time, money, and mistakes than I anticipated. And of course, I will be sharing with you the lessons that I learned from those mistakes so you're not going to be doing any of those as well as how I did this painting with just acrylic paint and water. And if you'd like to see how I did that, then keep on watching. Alright, they said, don't do the same mistake twice, so now I'm gonna do a bigger mistake on a 60 by 90. Got new cups here. Thanks. The water. Tape. A blacker paint, because this one sucks like big fucking time. Alright, it is recording. This one was it. So now it's white. I'm just gonna do everything like the base paint black, more watery, and then I'm gonna do white, of course, gold and silver. We're not gonna do gray anymore. So starting off with the black. One thing I learned is do not use cups that you have used before that has um, dried out paint in it is because once you put another set of paint on it and water, it's gonna clog up and it's gonna be fluffy. And you gotta make sure that you mix it really, really well to dissolve all the clumps. So I wanna make sure that this base paint really flows, like really fucking flows. And also, take your time on mixing your paint with your water to get the right consistency because the wrong consistency will fuck everything up and will really give you a much different result and the gold one is harder to mix compared to the other colors I don't know maybe because of the glitters in it I really don't know the more watery your consistency is the more that the colors will blend with each other and that's not the look that I'm going for so I'm just trying to mix it to be as watery enough to flow but not watery but not thick enough to you know not blend so I'm just eyeballing everything and now with the blower since I do not have the nozzle I think this will do uh, yeah, I guess I just need to keep this in. Black paint. Super watery black paint. Oh shit. Yeah, let's do that. Oh shit, that's water. Now 
like that's too watery. So yeah, I think I'm gonna fuck this up again. Yep, let's make that work. And we gotta move fast. Because this shit dries out fast. Especially you that it's thin. Use the ones the drips on the side. Right. Yay, we were able to cover it. Here we go. Trying to bring all the to push the black on the middle of the canvas. Because that's where we're gonna be putting our paint in. Now I've got the white right here, there's a little bit of oh, thicker than the black. Alright, she's flowing. The silver one. I'm too clumsy for this shape. Now, let's see. All right, so here we are two days after dry time. The texture has already flattened out. 
I don't know if you can see that. You can feel the bearing inside. Let's check out this nozzle first because you can turn it around like this horizontally or you can turn it vertically and I'm gonna spray it in the air first. Like, Alright. Don't check the spraying on your artwork first because it might happen if you want to spray it in the air. Alright. Wow, looks like nothing happened, bitch. The fuck was that? One more time. Don't forget to get the sides. Right, we'll let this dry for like 30 minutes to an hour, so it's gonna be super super dry. We're gonna dry it off first and then Go back and check it out. What time is it? It's time for lunch. 2.30, exactly 2.30. Gonna check it out. Um, by 3, Thursday. And let's see. Let me try to show you in close up. That's it. Hmm. Okay. So that's that. I'm gonna do the top coat for the other two paintings as well. Just to give it one go. Now the problem is, where am I gonna be putting it? <laughs> ah, now I know. We're gonna put it back to the incubator. <laughs> this up. Do not pick it on the sides. I'm trying to hold it here. Okay. Oh, this one. Wear a mask whenever you're doing this or spray painting anything. I'm gonna let this dry too. Put it in the incubator. That's that. Let's make it work. That appears to be more glossy than, than the other two. Huh. So for now, I'm gonna let that dry too. Once it airs out a little bit, I'm gonna put it as well in the incubator. Uh, once I get, once I have a budget again, I'll be doing some poor, some more poor painting. I loved it, so that's that. So now we'll just wait. And there you have it! We're all good! Thank you so much for watching the video. I really, really appreciate that. And if you did like the video, enjoyed it, or at least learned something from it, please do not forget to hit on the like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notification bell so you will be the first to know the moment I upload a new video. And if you have any comments, questions about what we did, or suggestions on what video show I'm going to do next, please feel free to put them all down below or hit me up on Instagram, and it's me, MapMap. You now have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much again for watching. Bye-bye! So, this is me, dirty as fuck, and I look like shit. <laughs>